How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to evaluate and simplify rational algebraic expression. So, before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool, clear math videos just like this. Okay, math learners, we are now in the second half of our discussion for this session. That is, how do we simplify rational algebraic expression? Now, in simplifying rational algebraic expression, you don't have any given value for your variable. What you are given is just an expression, and then you will get a simplified form of that given expression. Question is, how? Okay. The technique here is very simple. First, you need to understand the law of exponent, specifically the quotient rule. According to the quotient rule in the law of exponent, if you have x to the power of m divided by x to the power of n, what you will do is you subtract the exponents. Therefore, if you have a to the power of 10 divided by a to the power of 4, if you simplify this given problem, then you will have a value of a to the power of 6. Question is, Sir Ash, what if we have uh, a smaller value in the numerator and a higher value in the denominator? Okay, let's have, let's say we have z to the power of 6 over z to the power of, let's say, 10. Okay, so as you can see here, it gives us z to the power of negative 4. However, in expressions, okay, remember in rational algebraic expressions, the numerator and the denominator must be both polynomials, right? Now, having an exponent that is a negative, that gives you an expression that is not rational algebraic expression. Therefore, you need to convert this into a rational algebraic expression. And what you will do is, you just put this 1 into the denominator side, giving you 1 over z to the 4. Now, if this confuses you, let me just remind you of a simple way. This means z6, okay, z, z to the power of 6. That means z, z, z. There are 6z given. And we have z10, okay. Alright, I think. There's much more here. 2, 4, 6. 8, 10. Okay. Now, there are 6 here. We also need to get 6 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that is 6. Okay. You just cancel them, giving you nothing in the in the numerator side. So, that is 1. Uh, because um, all whole numbers or all variables has an invisible 1 as its coefficient. Okay. And we have here z to the 4 or z 4 z's, which is z to the power of 4. And they are just the same okay so i hope you got that one now this is just a basic foundation on how to simplify rational algebraic expression using the quotient rule now the question is sir ash what if we have binomials trinomials and all other things in which we need to simplify the given expression okay now i will give you some examples okay math learners we have here three given rational algebraic expression what do we do here is we get the simplified form of this given rational algebraic expression. Remember that in simplifying, we don't have any value for our x. So we just need to get the lowest term of the given expression. Now, one of the simplest way is by the use of the law of exponent, which is the quotient rule. What um, The thing that I just did earlier. And the other thing is the... Um, prime factorization okay so if you could still remember our lesson about common monomial factors or using the gcf okay you can use that in this given lesson okay let's start so we have 45 and 30 here now let us try to break down first the numerator using the prime factorization so we have 45 this can be divided by 3 and 15 while 15 can still be divided 
by 3 and 5. Okay, because 3 times 3, that is 9. 9 times 5, that is 45. Okay. A squared means A times A. While B is just B. Alright. How about 30? We have 3. We have 2. Because 3 times 2 is 6. And 5. Okay. And then we also have A. So that is just 1A. And B, that is just 1B. Okay. So what you will do here is you just cancelled out what you see in the numerator and denominator. So that is 3, 3, 5, 5. 1a and 1b. So, leaving us the final answer which is 3a over okay, 2. And that is your final answer. Simple, right? Okay. Now, let us go to the second example. Now, in this given example, we have a binomial divided by a binomial. Now, the trick here is, um, there is a trick here. You cannot use simply this kind of um, the quotient rule, when you tend to divide 2 by 2 and 2, no, that's the common mistakes or common confusion that our students have in solving um, rational algebraic expression. Now, the technique here is that when you are using binomial, this can only be cancelled by a binomial also. Um, a monomial can be cancelled by a monomial also. However, in order for you to be successful, you just need to break it down or you just need to factorize everything what you can in order for this to be simplified. Okay. Now remember, if you could still have if you could still recall our lesson in polynomials in the first week and in the second week, this one, a squared plus 2a, the common here, the common factor. For a squared and 2a is a. Okay. When you extract a on this given binomial, it leaves you just 1a. In this part, if you extract a, this leaves you just the 2. So that is plus 2. So therefore, the factors for a squared plus 2a is just a times the quantity a plus 2. Okay. Now, we go here. What is the common factor of 2a plus 4? So since a cannot be extracted because in this second term, we don't have any a, what we can extract here is the 2 because 2 and 4 is a common factor for 2 and 4. Okay, so we extract 2 here, giving us just an a for this one. And if we extract 4 by 2, that is 4 divided by 2, we have a plus 2. Okay. So, as you can see, in this given expression, we have a common factor A plus 2 and A plus 2. So, by this kind of scenario, what you can do is you can cancel the binomial in the numerator and in the denominator, leaving you a final answer of A over 2. And that is it. Simple, right? Okay, and now let us go to our third example, which is 9a plus 15 over 3a squared plus 8a plus 5. Okay, now, um, the question is, how do we simplify a binomial divided by a trinomial? What we'll do here is still the same as what we did in our B. We try to factor it completely. Okay, so let's start first in the numerator. So we have 9a plus 15. What is common in 9a and 15? For sure, it, it's not a because a is not visible in the second term. So 9 and 15, the common factor is 3. Very good. Okay. Now, if we extract 3 in 9a, that gives us 3a. If we extract 15, uh, sorry, if we extract 3 from 15, that means 15 divided by 3, that will give us 5. Okay. So, we have the factors 3 times 3a plus 5. Okay, now next, we have here 3a squared plus 8a plus 5. That is a trinomial. Remember our lesson in general trinomials in our week 1 and week 2? How to factor them? The technique is very simple. You just make two quantities, okay? And then you factor the first, that is 3a and a. And then you factor the second, what are the factors of 5? So, 5 and 1. Negative 1 and negative 5. 
However, we are just dealing with positive here. So therefore, we just need to use positive 5 and positive 1. So, question is, where should I put positive 5 and positive 1? Now, I'll give you a quick tip on this kind of problem. Now, remember, we are simplifying, right? We have already the clue that we have 3a plus 5. And we, have, we already have here 3a. So, it just need another partner for it to be simplified. And that is plus 5 and plus 1. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that this is always applicable, right? Okay. Um, I'm just saying that um, let's just use some kind of being wise for us to... But however, if you get this kind of part, you still need to, to check whether your factors are correct. Okay. How do we check the factors? 3a times a, that is 3 squared, okay? 5 times 1, that is 5. How do we get this 1? That is by multiplying the inner and the outer. 5 times a is 5a. 3a times 1, that is 3a. 5a and 3a, that is 8a. So therefore, your given factors are correct, okay? So, let us now continue our simplification. As we can see here, the numerator is this one, the denominator is this one, and we have common factors, that is 3a plus 5, so you can cancel them, giving us a final answer of 3 over a plus 1. And that is your final answer. Okay, I hope you have an idea on how to simplify rational algebraic expression. Now, this is the time that I will be giving you and testing you whether you have understood our lesson and whether you acquire our competency. So, here it is. Okay, math learners. I hope you have enjoyed our topic for today about the quarter one, week three, of the mathematics 8 in the most essential learning competency-based lessons. This is still your free access math teacher and always remember it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you for subscribing and like, share this video if you think that this could also help to our fellow classmates, students, and even teachers in teaching this lesson remotely. God bless and thank you very much, Stacy.